नमस्कार माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर सुप्रीत वेलकम यू ऑल इन द इंडिया मेडोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट्स वीकली विद अ डिस्कशन टुडे इज सेकेंड अक्टूबर एंड विल सी द मेजर फीचर्स ऑफ अपकमिंग वेदर एंड वार्निंग्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो द फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद द मेजर फीचर्स ऑफ द लास्ट वीक दैट इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेप्टेम्बर टू फर्स्ट अक्टूबर एस्टरडे सो दे आर टू सिस्टम एंड विल स्टार्ट विद द वन सिस्टम विच इज नाउ uh lying over uh, north east arabian sea as a depression so uh, initially a low pressure area formed over central parts of north and adjoining central bay of bengal on 25th september and this system moved west northwest towards and concentrated into depression on 26th and uh, over uh, northwest and adjoining west central bay of bengal of south odisha and north andhra pradesh coast and uh, after that it moved nearly westward and weakened into a well marked low pressure area over west vidarbha and and adjoining north madhya maharashtra and it tra- it transverses that uh, central india and uh, 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 like uh, gulf of cambay neighborhood and over gulf and kutch and neighborhood on 30 september and over northeastern arabian sea and adjoining saurashtra coast on 1st uh, 1st october as a well marked low pressure area after emerging into the bay of uh, after emerging into the arabian sea uh, moving nearly westward it concentrated in depression and persisted over northeast arabian sea as of today that is 2nd october and uh, further it is likely to move southwestwards towards northwest arabian sea during next 3 days and this system caused extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places over konkan and goa gujarat region saurashtra and kutch on 29th september and also very heavy rainfall uh, was recorded at isolated places over odisha on 27 and 29 september jharkhand telangana rayalseema on 27 september marathwada on 27 and 28 september madhya maharashtra on 28 and 29 september konkan and goa gujarat region on 28 september and uh, also over east rajasthan on 1st october now we'll see the system over bay of bengal and uh, the image what you seeing is a satellite imagery and on top of that the track of the system is superimposed so initially a low pressure area formed over west central bay of bengal on 30th september and it concentrated into a well marked low pressure area over the same region on 1st october and this moving uh, north northwest toward it uh, concentrated into a depression over west central bay of bengal on 1st and it further intensified into a deep depression over west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal and persisted over the same region at uh, today morning 8:30 that is 2nd october and uh, this system is uh, very likely to continue to move north northwestwards and cross odisha and adjoining andhra pradesh coast between gopalpur and paradip by night of today that is 2nd october and under this influence of this system heavy rainfall uh, very to heavy rainfall at uh, north uh, kushal andhra pradesh odisha chatisgarh and uh, over the uh, some places extremely heavy rainfall also is predicted more details about warning is uh, we'll talk about later so now uh, the uh, forecast for next two weeks i will discuss for week 1 that is uh, from uh, today to 8th october so under the influence of deep depression over west central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal heavy to very heavy rainfall at many places with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places over uh, likely over south chatisgarh odisha and north coastal andhra pradesh today that is 2nd october and over bihar on 3rd and 4th october uh, uh, also a fresh intense uh, western disturbance is likely to affect northwest india from 4th october high moisture feeding is likely from arabian sea as well as bay of bengal to northwest india at lower tropospheric level majorly during 5th to 7th october and due to this system along with confluence of wind and high moisture uh, ability there is a possibility of heavy to very heavy precipitation with hail storms over northwest india during the same period with peak intensity on 6th october and uh, then conditions are uh, given these things conditions are not favorable for uh, for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from remaining parts of the country during the week for week 2 that is from 9 to 15th october the under the influence of a likely formation of low pressure area fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over most part of the east and northeast india mainly during first of the second week and also conditions will become more favorable for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from remaining parts of gujarat madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh and some parts of maharashtra and east india during the second week now we will see the detailed uh, forecast and warning sub- at subdivision level for next 7 days with color coded maps 
so the first for first day uh, second october as you can see that uh, isolated extremely heavy, uh, heavy rainfall at uh, few places over north coastal andhra pradesh odisha and south chhattisgarh is uh, forecasted that's why red warning is issued for these subdivisions and also over bihar and uh, jharkhand and gangetic west bengal orange warning for heavy to very heavy rainfall is issued for third the red warning is issued for bihar where extremely heavy rainfall at one or two places is expected apart from that orange warning is issued for eastern uttar pradesh and also uh, east madhya pradesh chatisgarh odisha jharkhand and gangetic west bengal and also uh, sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and assam and meghalaya where one or two places heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected apart from that on uh, 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 then moving on on fourth that is day 3 the red warning is issued for bihar and eastern uttar pradesh where one or two places heavy rainfall uh, extremely heavy rainfall is expected and uh, then on 5th the rainfall intensity uh, uh, is going to come down but orange warning is issued over bihar and east uttar pradesh where one or two places heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected and uh, from 5th onward as mentioned the western disturbance is likely to affect our uh, western uh, himalayan region so uh, one, uh, for uh, Jammu Kashmir uh, Haryana and uh, some parts of uh, Punjab Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh heavy rainfall warning is also issued and uh, there is a possibility of also hail storm and on 6th for uh, Jammu Kashmir uh, Punjab Haryana and uh, some uh, parts of Himachal Pradesh heavy to very heavy rainfall at one or two places along with hail storm warning is also given and uh, the uh, on 7th the activity is going to reduce little bit and heavy rainfall warning continues over uh, one or two places over these regions along with uh, thunderstorm activity and uh, hail storm or snow storm and uh, for uh, the 7th uh, there is a thunderstorm warning for jammu kashmir and bihar and heavy rainfall warning only over northeastern states now we'll see the condition of withdrawal of southwest monsoon so as on of 26 september last week the southwest monsoon withdrawn from some more parts of gujarat entire rajasthan some more parts of madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh and entire western himalaya region that is jammu kashmir ladakh on 26 september 2025 and the line of withdrawal of southwest monsoon uh, still passing through veraval bharuch ujjain jhansi shahjahanpur and also 30 degree north and 81 degree uh, east uh, as of uh, today also and uh, then uh, as as mentioned earlier conditions are not favorable for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon during next 7 uh, days next next week but uh, from the second week uh, the conditions are becoming favorable for some parts as mentioned earlier now we'll see the uh, rainfall statistics for our region and uh, you can see that uh, weekly the color red and yellow shows deficient uh, yellow is uh, highly deficient and red is uh, deficient rainfall so as you can see that uh, our uh, northern and western himalayan region and northeastern region and also some part of east part of the southern peninsular india the rainfall is uh, deficient so uh, for a statistic as uh, you can see that east and northeast india for uh, the last week uh, the rainfall deficient deficiency was minus 53% against actual uh, rainfall was 26.3 uh, mm against the normal rainfall of 50 5.7 mm and for northwest india the actual rainfall was 8.2 uh, against the normal rainfall of 11.3 with a deficiency of minus 28% for central india the rainfall was uh, actual rainfall of 63% against the normal rainfall of 26.0% uh, and it is a departure from long period average was uh, plus 142 or 142% uh, of the long period average and south peninsular india uh, the actual rainfall was 46.8 mm and and uh, which is against the normal of 39.6 so this is uh, plus 18 percent uh Uh, departure from long period average and as a india as a whole for last week what is called uh, there is a excess uh, excess rainfall that is plus 28% uh, where over all the, over, over our uh, weekly average for all of uh, our country india as a whole it was rainfall was 37 actual rainfall was 37.1 which is against 28.9 of the long period average and if you see the seasonal rainfall monsoon season rainfall uh, india as a whole uh, it was uh, plus 8% 
percent or uh, plus eight percent rainfall recorded. So over the season, actual rainfall received was nine nine hundred thirty seven point two millimeter against the normal rainfall of eight hundred sixty eight point six millimeters. So uh, the excess of plus eight percentage. And overall, if you see the reason wise, so east and northeast India received uh, deficient rainfall minus twenty percent was departure for the season for northwest india there is a excess rainfall plus 27% was the departure from long period average and central india also was excess rainfall that is plus uh, 15% rainfall and uh, for south peninsular india uh, the departure was uh, near normal that is but still excess plus 10% of long period average now uh, we'll see the summary forecast summary for rainfall and uh, for week 1 uh, as mentioned earlier under the influence of deep depression over west central and adjoining northwest bay bengal heavy to very heavy rainfall at many places with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places likely over south chatisgarh odisha north coastal andhra pradesh on today and uh, over bihar on 3rd and 4th october and uh, then the fresh western disturbance has mentioned earlier uh, likely to cause heavy to very heavy rainfall spell over northwest india during 5th to 7th october with peak intensity on 6th october and uh, conditions are not favorable for further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from the remaining part of the country during the week for week 2 uh, from 9 to 15 october uh, under the influence of likely formation of low pressure area fairly widespread to widespread rainfall with isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over most part of the east and east and northeast india mainly during first of the week 2 and overall uh, for week 2 rainfall activity is likely to over normal over east and northeast india and chatisgarh and below normal over remaining part of Uh, country during the week uh, regarding temperature situation for uh, week 1 that is 2nd to 8 october the same plot so as you can see that uh, for week 1 maximum temperatures are likely to be near normal or below normal over most of the country except some parts of tamil nadu and south indian karnataka where these are likely to be above normal by 2 to 4 degree centigrade during the week for week 2 also uh, maximum temperatures are likely to be near normal or below normal over most of the country except western himalayan region that is jammu kashmir and uh, himachal pradesh mainly and uh, also over south indian karnataka where these are likely to be above normal by 2 to 4 degree centigrade during the week that's all for today for detailed weather forecast and warnings including fisherman and uh, uh, other specialized forecast please follow our daily weather videos and also you can follow website mausam.imd.gov.in and also you can download our apps thank you for watching namaskar jai hind